Okay, so we recently added an activity, which was a crossword puzzle. Now we have to add an assessment on the scholarly sources topic that we recently covered. Uh, this assessment will basically demonstrate mastery of the topic at hand and kind of aligning yourselves with your unit learning, unit level learning objectives. So that being said, I have my course design worksheet right here. I'm down to number three. I want to add a unit quiz, so I'm going to jump back over to Angel to my Angel page, and I'm going to go ahead and click on team course because this is where I have editing powers. I'm going to go back up to the lessons tab and I'm going to go to my folder here, the model module. And now I need to click on add content. Okay. So I'm going to scroll down here and I need to look for assessment. I'm going to click on that. Now it's going to ask for a title. So I'm going to call this, uh, what does this document say? I'm going to call this unit quiz. Let's see, copy. I'm going to paste it into here. I'm going to get the subtitle. I have a due date. And let's give it a due date of, say, July 24th at 11.55 p.m. By doing midnight, you're going to cause nothing but confusion because it could, students could take it as the day before or the day of. So now I need to actually go in here and click Save. And now I get to add a question. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Add Question. And according to my list, the first one was Multiple Select. So let me uh, collapse the screen a little bit here. It's kind of misbehaving here for me. So let's do this right here. And hopefully this will work. And there, hopefully everyone can see this now. So I'm going to do Multiple Select. So there's more than one correct answer in this one. So I'm going to give this 33 points. Let me go ahead and jump back over here. I need to put a question in here. So in my document here, I'm actually going to do my first question. And I'm telling students to select all that apply, meaning that there is more than one correct answer. So now I have to start giving my answer choices down here. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll here and get my first one. and put this here and it is a correct answer and I'm going to go to the next one and it says that this is a correct answer as well and Google Scholar and that is correct as well okay I'm going to scroll down here I think that's all the questions I have here. Yes, that is correct. So after selecting the matching questions, I'm going to go ahead and click and save and create new. So I'm going to scroll down here. So I have save and create new. And at this point now, I'm going to go ahead and check, let's see what is specified here. Matching. So I'm going to go ahead and select matching. I'm not done yet. I'm going to save this and create a new question. So I'm clicking on here. And the same point value is good, 33 points. Now I'm going to add some question text right here. Let me scroll down. And here's my question criteria here. So there are five criteria. Let's see. And I'm going to copy and paste this. Match the terms with the correct definitions. Okay, so I'm going to go down here and give the correct terms. So the first one is accuracy. And this program is not behaving how it should. And I'm going to go down to the next one, the next term, which is authority. And once again, the program is being bad. Jump back to the word document here. And objectivity. It's always good to have objectivity. Okay, so now I have my initial uh, terms here, and now I need to match, match them up with the definitions. So I'm going to scroll down here. And I'm going to keep everything kind of consistent here. 
and it's going to tell me to match number one here. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to jump back over to here. And everything is here. This is number one. And I need to go back here, copy and paste definition number two, and it's going to be number three. So I'm going to copy this and jump back over to the other screen. That's number three. And then assuming that the next one is number two, I'm going to go ahead and select this beforehand. And now I'm jumping over here. I'm going to save, copy this, and then paste it in here. All right. So I have my three here. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. I have to save and create new as well now. And this time I want to add an essay question. This is a, a true way to kind of see if the students are, aren't copying from a textbook. You're asking them a direct question here. So I'm going to go ahead and select to add an essay question. So I'm going to go here. And I'm going to do essay. I'm going to save and create new. And same thing, 33 points. I'm going to go to my question text here. And I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to do compare popular versus scholarly periodicals. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and scroll down, and I'm going to go ahead and just click save this go around. Okay, so now jumping back here, I have my three questions here. I can actually preview them by clicking on preview. And if you notice here, here are my questions, and I can actually show and hide the answers right here. All right, so this should get you where you need to be. Remember, contact us if you have any problems or questions, and we'll be happy to help you on out. Okay, and until I talk to you again, have a great day.